Ohio State versus Notre Dame. I think that's the best non-con game of 2022 coming up. Uh, it's still a million years away, I know. But uh, I, I saw uh, an article, might have been on ESPN, or I don't remember, uh, earlier today talking about uh, some of the uh, biggest non-con games of uh, this coming season. And I'm going to do a video where I where I talk about a lot of the big non-con games, but I wanted to just come on today and talk about the one that I think is the best non-con game we're getting during the regular season of 2022, and it's uh, it, it's Notre Dame and Ohio State. Uh, both of these teams are almost guaranteed to be ranked within the top 10 to start the season. Ohio State's going to be in the top five, should be in the top three, in my opinion, of any preseason poll you look at. Notre Dame will probably be somewhere in the 5 to 10 range. Uh, and look, you, you know, I, a lot of people hate Ohio State. A lot of people hate Notre Dame. I, I, I get it. Um, you know, they are, they're fun to make fun of uh, it, it, from time to time. These are two huge brands in college football. Huge. I mean, probably two of the top five brands in all of college football. I don't care how much you hate Ohio State and Notre Dame. They're, they're, you at least have to admit they're two of the top ten brands in all of college football. This is a huge game, and it's a game we don't get to see very often. Notre Dame and Ohio State have only ever played six times. Six times! Um, the two most recent times they played were bowl games. I think both of them were Fiesta Bowls. Um, so that's two of the six games that they played. I think they played in the Fiesta Bowl in 2006 and the Fiesta Bowl in 2016, if I remember right. Uh, prior to that, they've had two home and home series throughout their histories. Um, in the, I think I believe it was the '90s, uh, they had a home and home series, and then you got to go all the way back to the 1930s, uh, where they had a home and home series. So they played a total of six times. Ohio State leads the series four games to two, and Ohio State has won the last four matchups. So Notre Dame won the initial home and home series back in the 1930s. They didn't play again until the 90s, another home and home. Ohio State swept that series. And then the two Fiesta Bowls that I mentioned from 06 uh, and uh, 16. Uh, you know, Ohio State's got a Heisman caliber QB coming back and C.J. Stroud. Ryan Day has got that team rolling. I mean, they're recruiting in the top five every single year. Again, they're going to have one of the best wide receiving groups in all of college football. Uh, which seems to be just a permanent cycle at Ohio State. It's unbelievable the, the amount of talent they're able to accumulate at the wide receiver position there. Uh, that running back, uh, he was a true freshman last year, Travion Henderson. He'll be back this year. The defense has got to get better. Now, they made a lot of coaching changes, especially on the defensive side of the ball, Ohio State did. Probably the biggest coaching shakeup Ohio State has had since when Urban Meyer left, uh, or when, yeah, when Urban Meyer uh, came in. Uh, but anyway... Um, Ohio State should be really, really good. And Notre Dame, you know, they they, they lost some. They get some back. It, it almost seems like it doesn't matter what we say about Notre Dame anymore. I, I think I picked Notre Dame to go 8-4 and four last year. Man, was I wrong. They went, what, 11-1 and one in the regular season? Their only loss was to a, a blowout loss to Cincinnati. Uh, well, it wasn't really a blowout, but they did lose at home to Cincinnati. Notre Dame's got a brand new coach. They promoted from within. So the guy's never been a head coach before. We'll see how that works out. Um, I guess technically he was the head coach for one game, the bowl game this past year against Oklahoma State. And Notre Dame does what Notre Dame always does in major bowl games. They lost. Uh, so definitely more question marks, I think, on, on the Notre Dame side of the ball. Um, when you look at this matchup with uh, Ohio State, and this is a week one matchup, uh, by the way, I think. It might be week two. I, I think it's week one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's week one or two. Uh, and, and this is a home-and-home home series, so they're going to play this year and uh, next year. This year, I believe, uh, at Ohio State? I, you'd think I'd look some of this stuff up. I'm not another dude. Look at this guy. Guy thinks he's an analyst. I'm not an analyst. I'm, I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan. I just get on here and give my opinion. Uh, I don't know. Somebody let us know down below where they're playing. Um Oh, another uh, the 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 that coach for uh, Notre Dame too. He played for Ohio State, so has some ties to Ohio State. This is going to be a great game. Uh, if you don't watch this game, you're not a college football fan. You, you know, oh, I hate Notre Dame. I hate Ohio State. I'm not watching the Midwestern football. Then don't watch it. I don't, I don't. I don't see how you're a diehard college football fan if you're not excited about a Notre Dame Ohio State matchup in the regular season. And like I said, yeah, there are a ton of great ones. Too. You know, there's a lot of other good ones too. 
Uh, Texas and Alabama. Uh, you you want to talk about two big brands? Shit. Texas and Alabama, they don't get no bigger than that. Problem is, Texas been uh, uh, walling around in its own doo-doo for the better part of a decade, so I don't know how, how competitive that game will be. It is a home game for Texas. Uh, I, I love these home and homes, man. Let's give some credit where credit is due. Ohio State, Notre Dame, neutral site. Nope, home and home. That's the way it should be. Texas and Alabama, neutral site. Nope, home and home. That's the way it should be. Georgia's playing another neutral site. I hate neutral site games. I don't care if it's Georgia playing them or anybody else. Georgia plays uh, again this year, I think, in Atlanta this year to kick things off. Chick Fil A class, whatever they call it, against Oregon. You got that one. Um, I say a really interesting one. Florida and Utah. Utah comes to Florida. Uh, uh, in that one, LSU and Florida State, uh, Auburn and Penn State. I mean, so so I'm not trying to say that you know Notre Dame and Ohio State uh, is the best non-con game, and, and none of them, none of the other ones are any good or even worth watching. I just, to me, I, you know, maybe it's because we don't get to see that game very often, especially in the regular season. We got to go about the 90s, uh, and and those schools ain't even that far apart. What is it, a couple hundred miles between those two schools? Um, maybe, well, maybe a little more. But point is, you know, the the. It's hard to believe uh, Notre Dame and Ohio State have only played six times. And if you would have guessed, what would your guess have been? If I just would have came on and said, guess how many times Notre Dame and Ohio State have played? I would have guessed way more than six. Um, maybe it's because I'm, you know, Notre Dame played Michigan for years and years and years in a lot of Big Ten teams, and I just sort of maybe assumed they played Ohio State a lot. But you know, once I saw they only played six times, and I started thinking about it, I was like, yeah, you know, I guess that's right. I guess that's right. So I'm excited to see that one. Uh, you know what else I'm excited to see? Bubba Fett. Yeah, I know it came out whenever it came out, but why does Disney Plus do this, by the way? <laughs> why do you make me pay for a streaming service, Disney Plus, but then you release episodes one week at a time? That's retarded. If I wanted to do that, I'd be watching cable TV. So I didn't watch any of the Bubba Fetts. So I've waited now. All the episodes have been released now. Uh, and and uh, me and Lou Jr. have been trying to figure out a time where we can sit down and binge watch it. We don't like to do this thing, watch an episode today, an episode next week. No, we get ready to watch the show. We want to sit down and watch every episode uh, all at once. And they're starting a four-day weekend from school uh, tomorrow. They're all, they're out of school Friday and Monday. So they have a four-day weekend. So uh, me and Lou Jr. are about to sit down and binge watch Bubba Fett. If it's half as good as The Mandalorian, then I'll be happy. The Mandalorian is one of the best TV series I've ever seen. That's particularly season two. The ending, the ending of part two of The Mandalorian, probably the best ending of any series uh, in TV history. It was absolutely unbelievable. So no call-in show tonight. Uh, well, Lou Jr. wants to watch this Bubba Fett. I can't tell him no, uh, nor do I want to. Nor do I want to. We're going to sit down and watch Bubba Fett. Uh, no spoilers in the comment section, please. Don't get yourself blocked. Anyway, Ohio State versus Notre Dame. To me, the best non-con game of 2022. Let me know down below what you think the best non-con game is of 2022. Have a good morning.